I'm Terry Sweeney, Professor of Biology and Program Director for the new Physiology undergraduate major at the University of Scranton. And I'm here to tell you a little bit about the major. In May of 2020, the American Physiological Society documented the boom in undergraduate physiology majors. And we are fortunate to be a part of that. In fact, we have one of the few programs in the Northeastern United States, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about it. What's led to the boom in undergraduate physiology majors is the excellent fit that students are finding for career paths in the biomedical sciences and beyond. And you can see many of those career paths listed here. We've graduated only the first class in May of 2020, and yet our career trajectories for our students mirrors that national trend. And you can see some of those for a recent and our upcoming graduates, including in physician assistant, optometry, nursing and nurse practitioner, medicine, and doctoral programs and master's programs in physiology and related disciplines. I'd like to tell you just a little bit about the curriculum. In green, you see highlighted the first year of the curriculum, which matches that of our biology curriculum. This makes it easy for students to decide on their major, even through their freshman year. What's unique about the physiology major and gives it its focus is 18 unique credits that we offer through the sophomore and junior years, beginning highlighted in yellow here with 10 credits for the two semester lecture and laboratory course in advanced human anatomy and physiology. Those 18 unique credits are finished off in the junior year with cellular and integrative physiology lecture and laboratory, a six credit course that advances greatly the student's granular knowledge of physiology and its relationship to their disciplines that they hope to follow. Finally, we have experimental approaches in physiology seminar, which aside from teaching students how physiologists go about acquiring new knowledge, teaches our students how to read both the physiology and the medical literature. Finally, the physiology major caps off their degree with a selection of courses from the biology department that highlight areas of physiology, including cardiovascular physiology, endocrinology and reproduction, genetics, and biostatistics. We've chosen these electives to help fulfill requirements for advanced programs such as PA medicine and so forth, but also with the flexibility that students can adjust their program to fit their programmatic and career needs. So I hope this brief introduction to the physiology major tells you a little bit about what we have to offer. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you have and I can be reached through the admissions department physiology program page. Have a great day.